I often move the axes of my 3D printer manually. Some mentioned in the comments that this is not a smart thing to do because it might destroy your printer. And even Thomas Sandlader said that this is not a smart thing to do. But I'm a bit skeptical because I've never destroyed a printer like this. But I started wondering, is it possible to destroy a printer by manually moving one of the axes? Let's find out. Hi, I'm John for Prop Printing. I've improved the studio a bit. You don't see much because this um, enormous thing is in the way, which is the enclosure that I'm working on. And um, it's still a lot of work. So I decided to put out an extra video in which I'm going to do an experiment, which is an experiment I wanted to do for quite some time. And I think this is the right moment. So let's see if a standard printer can be destroyed by manually moving one of the axes. No, I'm not going to sacrifice my N3 V2, which I've put together recently with care. Okay, where's that wrench? I need some, um, I need a printer that no one cares about. Where's that piece of junk? Ah, yeah. I already removed most homing switches, so I will home this thing and then it will crash and normally I would just flip the switch, but this piece of crap doesn't even have a switch. So I will, maybe I'm just going to move the axes manually. So first the, the X, 10 millimeters, ah, it's not connected. Yeah, if I connect the extruder motor cable to that, place the extruder cable on my X motor. Okay, move the X motor. Nice. I do not recommend you to try this at home with your printer if you still want to print with your printer. The goal of this video is to show yeah, how I destroy an NAT A8 printer. Well, let's see what happens if I'm if this display at least will turn on. Yeah, look at that. So now you can see I'm generating electricity from these motors, which will turn on this display. So at first I'm going to try it like 10 times up and down, see if this axis still move. If it does, then I will repeat that and do it more vigorously. And um, if it's still working, I'm going to, uh, to give it all first 10 times normal speed one eight nine ten see if it still works okay and it still works okay stage two going to be a bit more violent <laughs> I'm I'm running the printer <laughs> well this is um, a cheap way of printing the only problem is that um, while doing this it's pretty difficult to um, to start the print. Let's see what happens if I'm going to turn this thing on. And it's still working. I think I have um, to do this a bit more violent. Let's see if we can destroy a printer by moving one of the axes. Oh, it's a bit... Okay, this can be done better. <sighs> Let's see if it runs. I think I have to get to, uh, to stage four. Get myself a bit pumped.
gave it all to see if I can destroy the sprinter by manually moving the x-axis. I've used this flare camera to see if any of these components were getting hot. Um, one, I think it's the power MOSFET became slightly hotter, it was around 30 degrees, so nothing too special. Let's see if it still works. And move X. Okay, this thing is indestructible. Based on the outcome of this experiment, my conclusion is that it's not possible to destroy the printer by moving one of the axes manually. Maybe if you're a bit more athletic than I am, then you will be capable of doing that. I can say that it's pretty safe to just move your axes manually if you want to and that you don't have to be too afraid that you're going to destroy your mainboard or one of the other parts. Um, please let me know if you disagree on this and maybe you have already destroyed the printer but if you want to destroy one of your stepper drivers then there are easier ways to accomplish that. Holy shit. And just uh, swap two of those wires and um, try to move that, uh, that motor. I recently have launched a Patreon page, patreon.com slash proper printing and already made an introduction video in which I'm showing you what that's all about. On my Patreon page I put behind the scenes footage and some cool stuff regarding 3D printing and for the higher tiers your name will be placed on my new studio wall and I will show that at the end of each video and we are at the end of this video so thanks a lot for everyone watching thanks a lot for supporting me on Patreon and donating on my website and special thanks to these guys my highest tiers this really helps a lot with my experiments I'm going to continue working on that enclosure if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so and then um, I'll see you in the next video bye Oh, what a workout. I'm going to need a drink.